It is something that you always should do before you update your very favorite software that you use all the time that you can basically live without. And that is that you have to do, it's kind of a backup of the software. So whenever you update and you realize, oh, that didn't work at all the way I intended it to, then you can actually roll it back like to previous version. I made a previous video about CapCut, for example, where they, in an update, suddenly removed a free version of creating auto subtitles or auto captions. And if you would have followed what I'm going to show you right now, that wouldn't be a problem because you could have rolled it back. And now I'm going to do one of those updates that are critical for me because Final Cut Pro has just released version 11. And I don't want to end up in a situation where I can't work with Final Cut anymore. So the first thing we do inside Final Cut, then we're going to figure out where all the projects are living so we can do a safety copy of them. So I click one of these ones and then I take Reveal in Finder. And here we can see where they are. So here I can, for example, say, okay, I would like to save to copy these ones. Then I can just drag these ones onto, uh, for example, external SSD, a NAS, or somewhere where I would like to store these ones. So I just can bring them back into Final Cut if I need to do it afterwards. And now we're gonna make a safety copy, kind of a backup of the entire program, in this case, Final Cut Pro, that we would like to keep a backup of. So let's go into the Applications folder, scroll down, open in Finder, and then we're gonna find the application that we would like to do a safety copy of. In my case, we need to know the alphabet first, so we know where F is and we have Final Cut Pro, it's there. Now this is the magic. You can option click, you get this little menu, and here you have Compress Final Cut Pro or whatever program you have. And if you click that one, now we're gonna compress the entire program into a zip file whenever this is done if something happens with the update, we can just extract a program from this zip file again. This is just gonna take a little while because this is pretty big, it's 6.11 gigabytes. And if you think that this video may be gonna save your ass one day, consider buying me a cup of coffee or maybe a super thanks to show your appreciation. So now we can see that here we have Final Cut Pro, a zipped file of the a zipped version of Final Cut Pro. So now we can go into App Store, we can update Final Cut Pro, and if something goes on here, then we can remove the Final Cut Pro that we have installed and then we can just unzip this zip file. I hope you liked this video. Next video we're gonna see each other in that is that one because about 70 to 80 percent of all my viewers are watching those recommended videos. And don't forget to subscribe because you are so many people that are watching my videos that never subscribe and if everyone would have subscribed I would have had millions of subscribers by now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.